Hello and welcome to Security. Today we're going to be doing the MITRE attack room or the MITRE framework room on TryHappy. So you can see it, it says this room will discuss the various resources MITRE has made available for the cybersecurity community. So without, without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, so it says the first task is the introduction to MITRE. It says for those that are new to cybersecurity, cybersecurity field, you probably never heard of MITRE. Those of us that have been around might only associate MITRE with CVEs. Um, list, which is one of the resources you probably check when searching for an exploit for a given vulnerability. For MITRE researches in many areas outside of cybersecurity, for the safety, stability, and well-being of our nation. These areas include artificial intelligence, health informatics, space security, to name a few. So in this room, we're going to focus on other projects that the US-based nonprofit MITRE has created for the cybersecurity community, specifically the ATT&CK framework, the, um, which stands for adversarial tactics, techniques, and common knowledge framework, CAR, which is cyber analytics repository knowledge base, SHIELD, um, active defense, and AEP, which is an attack emulation plant. So that first task is just to read through that and click on done. Same thing for the second task. When you look into basic terminology, you'd see, um, talk about APTs, APTs, which is advanced per percent threat, and this can be considered a, a group or, or a team or a group or even a nation state group that engages in long-term attacks against organizations and other con or countries. The term advanced can be misleading as it tends to cause us to believe that APTs, APT groups all have some super weapon or a zero-day exploit, exploit that they use. That's not the case. Um, because the techniques they use are quite common and can be detected with the right implementations in place. So yeah, you can view FireEye's list of APT groups here by clicking on that. So yeah, basically it talks about TTPs here, where TTP stands for Taxi Techniques and Procedures. The tactics are the goal of the adversary. The technique is how the adversary achieves the goal. And the procedure is how the techniques, the, how specifically is the technique executed. And um, that's task two done. Okay, so we are task three, and task three is where you actually start um, performing the task on the, the completing the task and not just reading. So you have to you read through this, and um, so it says only below two minutes we use the attack matrix. Yeah, on you that says yes. You just need to answer yes or no. And um, you're probably you're going to see this. You're going to see this through somewhere here. The answer for this says direct your. Basically, it's the answer is there when you read, read that. So let's focus on on how you need to perform the task that you actually need to perform. So it says. Um, So to summarize, we can use the attack matrix to map a threat to a group to their tactics and techniques. There are various methods in the search can search can be initiated. The question below will help you become more familiar with the attack. And it is recommended to start answering the questions on the switching page. So let's open up the switching page in a new, a new tab. So it says, um, what is the ID for this technique, which is phishing is the technique we're talking about. And if once you open that tab, you can see it right here, this is the ID for the technique. And um, based on the user, on this, based on this technique, what mitigation covers identifying user engineering techniques. So to do that, you go, to, you go back to the page and um, if you go under mitigations, you look for where it says user social engineering techniques and you can see it here and the mitigation is user training so um there are, and that that's what we have here 
Um, there are other possible areas for discussion for this technique, which occurs afterwards, which occurs afterward technique. So you go here, um, so it says, if you, go, if you read through it, you see, you see in this um, last paragraph, you see antivirus can put it, potentially detect malicious documents and files that are downloaded on the user's computer. Many possible detections of follow-on behavior may take place once user execution occurs. So you can see the answer is user execution. Which group has used spear phishing in their campaigns? And um, to find that, you go, you go here and you can see procedure under procedure examples. It says Dragonfly has used spear phishing campaigns to gain access to victims. So the name of the group we're talking about, we're looking for is Dragonfly. So it says based on the Based on the information for this group, what is what are their associated groups? So if you click on that phishing again, you click on Dragonfly, and you can see the associated groups group descriptions right under it, and you can put that put them in here. So we have DG four one nine two, Crouching Crouching Yeti, Ion Liberty, and Energy Energetic Bear. So it says what tool is attributed to this group to transfer tools or files from one host within to another within a compromised environment. So within a compromised environment, we're doing trans transfer transferring of tools or files. So we're looking for lateral transfer. And if we go back here and scroll, scroll down to tools and looking for lateral transfer. Um, you find it under PS, PS exec. See lateral lateral to transfer. So that is the answer for that. So based on the information about this tool, what group used the customized version of it? You click on PS exec, and um, the groups that use this software. You see, Fin Five uses a customized version of PS exec. It's like, that is the answer for that. So this group has been active since what year. You have to click on the group. And you see, Fin5 is a financially motivated trash group that has been targeted, that has targeted personally identifiable information and payment card information. The group has been active since at least 2008. So that is the answer for that. Instead of memory cards, what OS credential dumping tool does this group use? So we have to look under the tools or software that this group uses, and you can see OS credential dumping. They use PW dump. Okay, so let's see. This is an um, another one. So you see, they use um, P PW dump. And um, OS credential dumping for security account manager is PW dump, and OS credential dumping for LSAS memory, they use Windows credential editor. So they, they are two, but based on what um, this task requires, you know that the answer is Windows credential editor. So with that, we're done with the, um, this section on the attack framework and we'll go to the car knowledge base. So the car knowledge base basically you read through the analytics and answer the the questions as well. So we'll take it up from here in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.